So check this out. This is Build a Thing set. Fun, creative, imaginative, 370 pieces. It is from Ideal. It's for boys and girls. I like the Super City graphic on here. So the directions show that this is from 1968. It's giving you some idea about the parts. Here inside are some ideas, a windmill, a mechanical man, sailboat, things like that. Again, the crane seems cool. Again, as a kid, you'd think this would rotate, but there's gotta be zero possibility that that actually does. You can get a better sense of what's included in this. I've organized it loosely. There's some frames, there's some columns and connectors, and then there's some inserts. Uh, you're gonna see that I have a box of frames that seem to be unused, and then actually some bags that definitely were not opened. They talk about the basic building units, three types of frames, full, half, and triangle. They do come in various colors, so you can see I have the half frame in blue, but also red, white, and yellow. They also have columns and connectors, full, a half, and a corner. And these are actually called filler strips. And the last major building unit they have are inserts. There is a skylight dome. There is a pyramid. It's like a skylight. And then they have these full, and again, some of them are, what, opaque? And some are, what, translucent? And again, that's kind of cool, right? They have ridges on them, so you kind of get a cool effect. Oh, this is opaque, opaque blue. They have half in a couple different colors. And then they have triangles as well. You can do some kind of fun art with these. Layer these on and you have three different uh, shades of blue there. Uh, they do have some specialty pieces like these wheels. And unfortunately, I only have three, so I'm obviously just making a tricycle. Based on the instructions, I should have some kind of axle and I don't believe I have that whatsoever. So that's unfortunately missing. So I won't even be able to do the tricycle. The instructions show that there's a number of different sets. You could get a basic building set, town and country, skyport, the helicopter. That's pretty darn cool. There's a roadway set, landscape set, and the one I would have wanted, the skyscraper set. Kind of like a girder and panel thing. I love girder and panel. In general, these don't seem to be selling for a lot. Maybe the sets were somewhere around 25. There's a couple of anomalies. I saw one for that sold for about 145. That was a large lot. And then a uh, new unopened helicopter set that sold for a lot. So the instructions are going to make you work. Uh, there's one single picture. Um, and so you're gonna have to kind of figure out how they go together. This is not Lego with step-by-step, -step, you know, directions. So some of them would probably be easy, but um, I would think that some would be a little bit hard to figure out some of the connections, especially some of the 3D ones. I don't see an age range on this. So here's some basic building techniques. And what you're going to see on these is that there's pins and grooves. So pins, these little bumps, and then grooves. And they're obviously going to fit together. And that's the basic way that you kind of build. Uh, the columns are going to help you continue to connect if you want to keep building sideways. And there's either a groove on the column or there's essentially what is a you know row of pins. And then you got those little filler strips that can help you extend it more in case you want some versatility in building. Pins, in general, go into grooves. And so you can kind of line those up. Question is always going to be how well do they stay together. They're pretty decent. What's interesting is Legos, you know, you have to lock in. I could put this at any place in here. So I guess that's versatile and lets you some options. But if you're trying to build a nice straight wall, you got to fuss with it a little bit. And then if I want to do a corner, I have this uh, column where I can insert the pins into the groove. Once I have that, I can start to build off this way. And they go together pretty good. The way the inserts work is kind of obvious, but there's a little bit of a, I don't know, frame, I don't know how you want to call it, but they pop in there. And if this was a roof piece, I would just put you know that skylight in there. So that's kind of neat. When I see these pieces, I think building, I think skyscraper. So I'm gonna try to put something together and see what it looks like. To me, a big part of the question is how well will these stay together? You know, Lego is famous for its clutch power. You know, what kind of clutch power do these things have? Oh, I've added another cube on top. But what I'm finding is I'm actually going to be very limited. Uh, in terms of these columns, I already had to go to yellow. And I only have a handful of these yellows left. I'm sure I could probably double up these halves. But I mean, you know, if I double these up, I still only have five there. Another five or so there. So... I'm not making any skyscrapers. So again, it could be that I'm missing 
columns, right? So again, I have, I have not counted to see whether I have over 370 pieces. So far, the clutch power is good. I can hold this by one and it's not going anywhere. It's harder to squeeze the pieces together than Lego, for sure. Especially the columns, because they're not pins, they're columns. There's just more friction and uh, detail lining them up. They're not going to put Lego out of business for sure. But this is disappointing. I wanted to put, you know, a skylight on, right? And so I went, and it falls through. And it's not me. Any of these, what they're calling inserts, fall through. There is a way around it, so I could put, so again, these fit in like the side here. And so you can imagine if I put, you know, a column here, column here, I could, I could keep it in place, certainly. And even like now, it won't go anywhere. But, you know, I'm using another piece. And so that's a little bit disappointing. I was trying to be fancy here and kind of have these uh, overhang a little bit. And they basically have no clutch power. Uh, that's because essentially when I do that, there's only two spots. One, two, that they're, you know, kind of connected into. And it's just, it's just not, you know, even if I push it down more than that, it's not going to hold. So, you know, you're again forced into kind of a very square building pattern. So here's an instance when I'm going to use one of those filler strips. I want to connect this uh, triangle to here. And you can see it's two grooves, so that's not going to work. So what I'll have to do is obviously put this into here. So there it is, and it will just insert here. On the other side, I don't even need that strip because by the nature of the building, this one has that pin side out. So those uh, filler strips will be useful. So here it is, my uh, revisionist, brutalist masterpiece. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, lots of different colors. And I'd like to say that's because I'm just so creative, but it's actually because I just didn't have enough of the plates to to do all the same color. Quite frankly, I would have preferred to do it because it's kind of strange to have all the different colors. Um, I was forced to make other shortcuts too, like this roof piece is just sitting on here. I didn't have a full frame, so I have to put this here and the cross brace gets in the way, so it's just it's just sitting on there, kind of clumsy. But I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool. So what do you think? Would you like to live here? Maybe at the tip top? Made a couple more uh, additions. I made this rocket, and this I'm most proud of is a porta potty. What's interesting is I actually have a fair amount of the frames left. There's certainly the half frames, uh, a lot of half frames and triangular frames. I even have some of the inserts left, full inserts. But when it comes to columns and connectors, this is all I have left. And these little uh, corner caps that they call them. You know, you can barely use them. I use them for the porta potty. This thing would fall apart in a second, and this roof piece would just laid on top. I'm not sure if that's a fall to the set, or um, or if that's just I'm uh, missing, you know, pieces, especially columns and connectors. Overall, it's fun and it's interesting. I like the colors. I like the transparencies. Uh, it seems like it's pretty blocky, um, like on the rocket here. Like I couldn't even you know, fill in these little spaces when I went from two to one or three to two. That will definitely limit your building. This is no Lego set, but gosh, it's still fun. What I find intriguing is that some of these are not blocky. You know, check out the horse. I'm not even sure how those legs are uh, attached. This tail at a very, you know, kind of strange odd angle. Especially when you look at this tractor, these treads, the curve of the treads. I don't know how those could be connected like that. So I don't know if this is false advertising from ideal, which is not ideal. So I actually kind of did figure out a way to do the legs and the tail. Here is more or less the leg. It's not perfect, but what happens is you can fit the tab on the uh, half connector into the trough of another one. So it'll let you, and again, it'll stay together. Um, you know, do angles other than 90 degrees. Same thing here. Obviously, now I've kind of made a tail. And you can use some of those same basic ideas to make the tread or some version of it. So I have, again, a tread here where, again, it's, you know, the pieces are at like 40 degrees angles or 60 degree angles. And it's that same idea where you use those pieces and you just push the end piece into the slot of the next piece. This would be easy to... To break in a second but it, it does I mean, yeah it's not terrible i think for a kid it would be really hard to figure out there's nothing in the directions that give you a hint at that 
and inside, you know, they show you just the picture of the crane. And you get a little bit of a sense that there's something going on here, but even I can't tell what's going on, and I'm a theoretically intelligent uh, middle-aged adult. Yeah, I guess you can sort of see that there. Figured out a kind of workaround, or maybe you'd call it a cheat, uh, for a tread. So these pieces can actually fit together like this. And so once I kind of figured that out, I kind of said, well, okay, so I can put this first piece in like this, but then this will go in like that. This will kind of go in there. So I'm getting a little bit of a, you know, a curve there by doing that. And I should, and this is tight, there's a lot of friction, be able to get this into place. And so there you go. It is actually a tread. I don't think that's how they did it on the model. It doesn't look like that at all, but at least it's a little bit, uh, it's a workaround. So it's kind of cool. Last thing I did is build this little shelf and I use it to kind of display little knickknacks and things. So you can see I've used uh, other sets to display certain items. These are some erector sets down here. Uh, and so my intention is to put this one right here and put up some other little crazy cool knickknacks.